Why hello champions, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing another review of the Target Dollar, Dollar Section goodies. And so, what are we waiting for? Let's get right into the video! So, I'm going to be reviewing these gel pads. There were some other ones like cats, now that I think about those were cute. But these fit the aesthetic for like cucumbers. I'm going to be reviewing some bath bombs. I have this one, which the packaging is very iridescent, which I love. I'm going to be reviewing the another bath bomb, which is warm honey scented. The first one was coconut milk scented, which I'm not very fond of coconut milk. You like the coconut scent. You already know that. I already told you with the other video. Um, and then there's this bourbon vanilla uh, scent. I'm going to go ahead and start a tub of water. I'm going to go ahead and actually do the warm scented honey uh, bath bomb, which it says sweetheart because it's a, in the shape of a heart. I was going would do the other one that I would do is the shine on with the coconut milk but I don't really like I only like the packaging I don't like the scent of it but I'm not very fond of like the bourbon vanilla scent sweet scent but I'll show you guys uh the bourbon eats bath bomb and the sink the ones I don't use I put in this show in the sink um I'll also review the scent of it but while I'm relaxing in the bathtub I will be using these to end like timing how long it lasts like how long the coldness lasts because it's meant, like, the coldness for, like, the underneath the eyes is, and whatnot is meant to, like, deep up the eye area. So I'm going to go ahead and start the tub. And then I'll put the eye patches in for, into the freezer for 10 minutes. It says, for the instructions to use cold chill mask in refrigerator for approximately 20 minutes. Or in freezer for approximately 10 minutes. Never freeze mask solid. Gently place on closed eyes. At the bathtub and I'll show and then uh, once the bathtub is done I will show you me putting the bath bomb in because it's where the instruction for the bath bomb it says place bath bomb into a tub full of warm water allow it to dissolve before entering tub rinse with with fresh warm soapy water after bathing if needed so I will show you guys it dissolving and I will show you guys the other one, how the other ones dissolve as well, but that's in the sink. I will go ahead and start the tub now. Bathtub is done being filled. I'm gonna go ahead and actually take this out of its package. And it has another casing over it, so we want to be it want to do that. It's trying to fall apart, which is not a good thing because you want your bath bomb to, yeah, it's really coming apart. You want your bath bomb to be solid, that way it can dissolve in the tub, not... So I'm just going to go ahead and actually, what I'm going to do is... Dump the powder into the and as uh, along with the actual bath bomb itself. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop it in. Oh, it's not. I was thinking that it was gonna be like Lush's bath bombs, but that's so weird. It just drops right in there. Oh my god, that is so weird. Like you see those little bubbles that's coming from the bath bomb. 
It's like a bath tablet, not a bath bomb. If it was a bath bomb, then it would it'd literally float. That's so weird. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let that dissolve then and be right back. It took about five to ten to, not five to ten, five to six minutes for that one to, for that bath bomb to dissolve. What I'm going to do now is in the, the freezer for ten minutes and be right back. It's been 10 minutes, which is what it recommended for these to be in the freezer. I'm going to go ahead and get into the bathtub and put these on. Only pretty much lasted out of the freezer for about eight minutes, and I got barely feel any of the coldness on my eyes, which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I don't see me using these like that often. I'd rather you just use um, regular like ice cubes. I know that's not really good, but I'd rather. Like, I won't be using these that often, like I said, so... And I didn't really smell the honey scent from the bath bomb. I mean, I let it all dissolve and everything. It was in the... You saw how full the bathtub was. It was... I mean, yeah, it's a big tub, so it was able to fit me. But... It should have had the scent. And the ingredients are the same throughout the whole, throughout all of the bath bombs. It's just pretty much sodium bicarbonate, which explains the bubbles, uh, sodium sulfate, citric acid, PEGA, and fragrance. So the only thing that's different about all of them is the different fragrance, pretty much. So uh, it's now time to go ahead and do the other bath bombs. Maybe they'll. The sound will be stronger in those. Who knows? So I'm going to go ahead and fill the sink up with some water. I mean, it might be stronger because it's less water. So it's going to be le uh, less spread out. It's going to be a higher concentration. So who knows? Is is that I did not smell. I, I don't feel like having to rent, like scrub that off. It didn't leave a, it doesn't feel like it left a film at all with that bathtub, I mean with the bath bomb. What I'm gonna do now is the one with the coconut milk, the coconut scent, milk scented. I'm gonna go ahead and take the wrapping off. I really do love this packaging though, the iridescent. Oh, lovely. So that is packaging is definitely crappy. Because I don't know if you can see, but right here, the packaging is open. The coconut one that I just did in the sink, I can't even smell the scent in the water either. I don't know if it's because my nose is clogged partially, but I can't smell it. I'm hoping that maybe with the bourbon vanilla one, I can smell with the water, but which is the star one. I'm hoping that I can smell it, the scent in the water with that, but who knows?
So the stink is now full again. And I don't know if I said with the last one, but the last one, that diamond one, the coconut milk one lasted about 11 to 12 minutes to actually dissolve into the water, which is really fucking annoying. Because so this one is bourbon vanilla scented. Now let's go ahead and open it up. I'm just gonna tear it open. This one is in the shape of a star. The first one, which was the honey scented, was in the shape of a heart, which you guys saw. The other one was a diamond shape. This one's a star. They only had three uh, bath bomb scents, so I got all three to try for you guys. Heart as well. So oh, the bath bomb literally just got uh, finished. I can barely smell a hint of it. Like it's not very strong, but it only, like it dissolved within like four to five minutes, which is faster than any of the other ones. I, I'm not saying go ahead and get this one. Blah, 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 blah. Like there's no skin benefits in them. It's just bath bomb and to make your bath supposedly smell good, but there's no actual like, like skin benefits so I'm not saying like yeah it's a cool like gift for Christmas but a lot of people who are like would use a bath bomb are looking for something that has skincare I would not use these like I, personally I wouldn't use these because I do skincare and makeup but I wouldn't use these it doesn't even like give that big of a smell for the like first of all but other than that i still wouldn't use them i might maybe use the cucumber ipads but other than that I'm not using anything else in this video um i hope you guys like the video don't leave a thumbs up in the section down below don't leave a comment down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and don't forget to Ring that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I hope you guys have a great day. Love you. Bye.